Good morning. So this morning we're in Da Nang and we're just staying across the road from the beach, a place called Stella Maris. We've come for a walk down here to the boardwalk along the beach and there's plenty of beach bars along here so we might find a place to have a cool drink. But it looks very nice. Well, after the chaos of Hanoi and the crowds in Hoi An, Da Nang was a great place to chill out. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see much of the area as we didn't stray far from the hotel for the first two days we were there because we both got food poisoning from a dodgy banh mi we had in Hoi An the day before. It seems that eating banh mi in Hoi An can be quite risky. Well, good morning. So it's our third day, third day in Da Nang, and we've come up to the famous Marble Mountain. So this mountain has caves in it with shrines and Buddha statues, and I'm not sure how many caves there are, but I'll go and have a look. Around the area here, there's so many carving shops. They do lots of marble carving, and so we'll see how we go and get to the top. It's good now, they've got an elevator here, so if you want to take the elevator up, you can do it. It's a small fee, I'm not sure how much it is, but we'll can take the stairs up. I've looked through the caves and maybe get the elevator on the way down. My knees aren't what they used to be. All right, let's go check it out. For centuries, the Marble Mountains have held special significance for the people of central Vietnam. Each of the five limestone mountains represent one of the five elements in Eastern philosophy – metal, water, fire, wood and earth. The caves were so much fun to explore. You had to watch your step on the uneven surface and dodge the odd bat, but that just added to the experience for us. We went in with little prior information and not much in the way of expectations. Honestly, at this point, after getting so well acquainted with the hotel toilet over the last two days, we were just gonna be happy if we could make it through the walk without having to change our underwear. I probably should add goal achieved. So with such low expectations for the day, this place was just a brilliant surprise. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is the biggest cave. Extraordinary. <laughs> We've got the shrine in here and the big Buddha. Pretty cool. caves and now let's check out the view. early and if you don't want to walk back down the dodgy stairs now you can take the elevator Today we're at a place called Mad Platter. So we ordered the seafood platter for two. Yes, kind lady over here is shelling our seafood for us. She's cutting it open. So we don't have to get our hands messy. Even though we were sick for two days, our last full day in Da Nang well and truly made up for it. We will definitely be going back. I hope you enjoyed our Vietnam series, and we'll see you next time back in Japan where we take in some of the sights of Wakayama Prefecture.